Welcome back to Deus Ex Invisible War. Let's explore more of Arcology. And by the way, you may notice things look a bit different. So for this episode, I decided to turn off the high resolution texture pack. So these are the original game's textures. Just because I was curious what the original ones looked like, because I'd never seen them. So let's just run with it for an episode and see how they look. I don't have time for this. Welcome to Pequod's Coffee for the Stars. Stars? Yes, superstars. Miss Withers, the manager for NG Resonance, just ordered a tall pequicino on ice. You heard that NG is having a concert here tomorrow, right? Maybe you should ask her for an endorsement. Exactly. I was just thinking about that. I bet the executives would make me the manager of the whole region if I could pull that off. Regrettably, Miss Withers said NG is pretty picky about that sort of thing. I hate to say it, but I think she's leaning towards a Queequeg's endorsement. Quit playing games. Queequeg's? That flavorless brown slop? She just ordered a tall pequicino from me! I think it's a done deal. Sorry. I probably shouldn't say any more since the papers haven't been signed. I'm reigniting the coffee wars by saying that. <laughs> I mean, I can, you know, if you want to give me like a thousand creds, I could do a counter offer maybe. Take your nonsense somewhere else! Love affair with Bean. It's at every coffee shop, apparently. It will be a book about rulers, you know? Great personalities. Uh huh. Because that is how things really get done. Country club, penthouse suite, bedroom. Their name is Novelist. Oh, I was thinking maybe this would be one of their novels, but nope, it's just about coffee. Sounds exciting. For instance, what if this new members only club, the Knights Templar, what if they are a fiction? What if Chairman Dumier and one of his old drinking buddies concocted the idea as a way to distract people? Distract people from what? You know, what's really going on. My main character, he's going to be extremely powerful, but conflicted. Huh. What he decides will affect how billions of people live for centuries to come. But like all people, he has to contend with his own frailty and petty appetites. Sounds like an interesting man. <laughs> that person is so bored. Just stop talking that is to how them. I think Chairman Dumier must feel. He could deregulate nanotech construction, and Symmetriad Corporation could fill the planet with new. I can't talk to this one. This is the same as the other one, right? It's the one, just the one person. Yeah, it's the same person. Templar recruiting. The Knights Templar welcome you, friend. Care to learn more about the cause for purity? Since when does an ancient secret society set up a recruiting booth in the mall? In our colleges, you mean. We present our message where it will do the most good in the enclaves of scientists, businessmen, engineers, the blind minions of Thanatos. Oh. The individual worker, careerist let's say, seldom understands how his small labor contributes to human history. Seemingly innocuous innovations in cell biology, nanotechnology, and computer science add up to a teeming substrate of new life. But it isn't life, it's death. It seeks to devour its clumsy organic creators. There's some kernel of truth to that. But you started out by talking about purity. And you're some, like, military dude wearing sunglasses indoors and you have a gun strapped to your back, so... You know, that, that's just not a good look. Purity. <laughs> yeah, I must be dead then. I'm up to my eyeballs and biomods. Let me warn you, friend. We consider the modified to be less than human. Observe what your second soul of nanites has done to you, and consider going to a clinic to be purified. My biomods don't change who I am. They're tools. I use them to complete certain tasks. But the tasks grow in strangeness and complexity. The demands of others corrupt you, all because you allow yourself to be something other than human. Go fuck yourself. I think I actually like these original textures more. I'll have to see a lot more of it, but just like my own character, they, they look dramatically lower resolution, yes, but so far things look more cohesive. 
I don't know, a lot of things stood out and looked weird with the high-resolution texture pack. I'm liking this more. But I gotta see a bunch more things before I decide anything. Oh, key code required? A key code for an event? How is it even locked? There's no keypad. That doesn't make any sense. So we're back to the main hallway where I can exit the archaeology if I want. I think I want to get through here. Did I read this before? Oh yeah, that's just the map. How many multi-tools do I have? Five. I'd really prefer not to use two on this box here. Should I just go for it? Ooh. I I did not like expertly time that or anything. Honestly, I just went for it. I just got lucky. Ooh, hello. Fragmentary round. Yoink. Little secret place where people just hang out and drink coffee. <laughs> okay, now I gotta get back out. Oh! Oh! That's a miracle that I made it both times. Yeah, so the original textures, this thing is rusty as hell, too. I just came out of the elevator, and uh, we have quite a bit to talk about. I definitely like these older textures more. I mean, just look at this trash can. It doesn't look like concrete anymore. It still looks weird. Really weird. But it doesn't look like concrete. I like it more. However, I was just looking at it, and I was like, oh, it's huh, kind of weird looking. Is that... Wait, are those... Oh... They look like swastikas? Pretty sure those are swastikas, but they're going counterclockwise, so I'm guessing they're more in the the um, Hinduism. Like, it's a symbol related to Hinduism, not Nazism. Still though, why? Why? I don't, it still makes me uncomfortable. I still would rather not see those. Um. This Arcology miniature looks a lot different, but still weird. And the most hilarious thing is, I was wondering, the pictures. Remember, we've only seen two picture types so far. We've seen a lot of the one of the orb thing, and then this one here is that very weird looking sort of stock image of Guard's husband. I was wondering, is that from the texture pack or is that in the original game? Guess what? It's in the original game. That's just how it is. <laughs> Hey, what are you up to? Just stealing your ammo. Okay, I get the feeling to progress we need to head to the Nassif greenhouse, so let's go there. I never thought of myself as a good dresser. I have tried again and again to get accepted into the Arcology. We're sick of you Arcology types coming out here, pointing and laughing like this is a theme park or a zoo. I'm not sightseeing. I have business here. We have no choice but to stay here. We don't get to go back inside your atmospheric barriers at the end of the day. I don't live in the Arcology. Our children can't sleep at night because they can't breathe this filth. But that's about to change. You look like you've got more than enough credits to buy breeders for our families. <laughs> the second option. Don't worry, your children are about to inherit your breathers. <laughs> I'm a little bit conflicted here. I obviously want to go with the top one. Like, of course, I have tons of credits. 150 means nothing to me and could save their children. That's obviously the good thing to do. However, I am sort of a vampire, right? So, like, should I just kill them? Nah. I don't want any trouble. Let me just give you the credits. It's good that you can see reason. Now go back to your penthouse in the Arcology. 
Oh, I guess that's one way you could maybe sneak past. Hey, friend. Even the original rats still look super creepy with their teeth. Or whatever that is. There are several ways to put an end to the Nassif family's illegal food production. Destroying the filter system will kill the plants, or you can destroy them directly. You could also reprogram the software that automates the greenhouse. Yeah, so I gotta tread a little bit carefully here because the WTO wants me to do all sorts of things and I don't want to do them. Do I have an explicit quest from the Order? Find the Omar and ask him about a Plague 11 cure. You can find them on the east side of the North Medina, above the entrance to the mosque. Huh. See, that's kind of strange, because Billy made it sound like they wanted to learn more about the greenhouse before they would do anything about the plague. Maybe I should just... go? East side of the North Medina, above the entrance to the mosque. Okay, let's go there first. Okay, so it looks like up here is where the Omar are. Omar are. Chicago, someone put you on my tail? You're a long way from home. I'm on Dr. Nassif's tail. The program we came out of, Apostle Corps, it's based here in Cairo. Apostle Corps? The scientists who ran our training. Tarsus was a front. Ah, uh, this is some coincidence. Either there's a contract on my head... Or maybe the Omar have an interest in the program that created us too. What do they have you doing out here? Me? <laughs> Protection. Protection from what? Anybody. A lot of people don't like Omar. Most people think they're freaks. Right now, supposedly, these Knights Templar fanatics are planning a raid, so I'm waiting for them. All by yourself? That's my assignment, but these cyborgs can fight when they have to. I just wish we had a better tip, like when the raid's gonna happen, that maybe I could get some sleep. Who tipped you off to begin with? Someone in the village, but the Templar command is in the Arcology. They have a recruiting kiosk there. We can't move people into New Cairo too easily. I have an Arcology pass. I'll let you know if I hear anything. Yeah? If it was me, I'd sneak up on the place and eavesdrop. Omar schematics show a vent near the Tarsus School on 107, West Wall. One of the shafts leads to the kiosk. You could listen from inside the shaft. Be careful, though. Arcology support systems are secured against pests, whether transgenic or human. One thing I am is dependable. Hmm. I guess I need to go back to Arcology. They look quite a bit different with these textures. I'm not sure specifically how, but... No sign of trouble so far. They don't look quite as strange. Scan complete. You are only... You sure got a prime location for your business here. We appreciate your resourcefulness in seeking us out. I guess we'll see if it was worth my time and effort. You will appreciate our merchandise. You are a welcome customer, having helped us in the past. Perhaps you can offer your services once more. Go on, I'm interested in doing business. I've heard you know where I can find a cure for the plague. Yes, a cure has been developed by Arcology scientists in the night counter region for aerial dispersal. We believe the research is in a private facility leased by the Templars in the Flight Bay 24 on Arcology Level 110. Uh -huh. Sounds like a valuable invention. Why aren't they manufacturing it? Unclear. Perhaps you would be interested in investigating. The Omar can provide access to the air terminal in exchange for accepting a mercenary assignment. Sure. We desire schematic data on a new product being developed at that facility. Exoskeletal armor commissioned by the Knights Templar. A potential combat threat to our organization. How do I get in? First, you'll need a pass to enter the Arcology proper. Take this one. Thanks. Then talk to the woman in the air terminal information booth. She works for us. 
We will tell her that you are coming. Say to her simply that you have a friend in common. Once inside the terminal, locate the armor and upload the schematic. You will also find your cure. Okay. What are you selling? I have... Black market. Ooh, black market biomod. Yes. Give me the black market biomods. The armor appreciates... And I know exactly what I'm going to spend that on. That's going to go to improving my little vampire drone. Greater healing. Let's see. So level 3 can also break down and use live ambient creatures and more healing. Oh! So ambient creatures must be things like rats and cats. Oh god, no, they're my friends. I'll stick with humans. Oh, let's go ahead and turn in our quick legs coffee thing. Miss Withers gave me a call. Thank you so much. You did it. Everything is arranged. Pretty soon screaming kids will be lined up around the block. I owe you my life. My career is saved. Let me show you those weapon mods I was talking about. An ammo scavenger, a fragmentary rounds mod, and a glass destabilizer. I got them off an Omar who was crucified at the end of the street. Gruesome scene. The work of the Templars, I'm sure. Crucified? Jesus. Uh, definitely the ammo scavenger. That's the only one that I have not found yet, and the only one that I want to uh, put on my main bolt caster. Thanks. I'll take the ammo scavenger. My pleasure. I can't wait to see the faces of those self satisfied arcology feebs when Picoad shuts down, and I take over the coffee shop on level 107. Coffee's serious business. So, this bullcaster already has increased damage. Let's go ahead and put ammo scavenger on it, so we'll use less ammo. Nice, so now we got this one, which is good for just shooting a lot of people, doing more damage, not using up that much ammo, and then we have this other one for shooting glass. Or being silent, if we wanted it to be silent. But again, just my walking is so loud, <laughs> since I don't have anything that silences my walking sounds, that uh, that's kind of mostly pointless, it feels like. So I think in here is where I'm supposed to eavesdrop on the Night Templars. Don't make this a bad situation. Uh, they seem to be on alert. I don't know if this is. Paladins ready. Oh. Deputized and immunized for a scabland sweep. One hour tops. And they know to search every building. Not one Omar will escape. This will be the end of their presence in Cairo. If only you were right, but I think you make them too human in your imagination. A cyborg doesn't get discouraged. They must have commanders, though. Soon they'll see that their kind won't be tolerated. The Omar is not a human organization. It's a self-replicating machine that grows itself around human bodies. All we can do is buy time until we have a weapon to defeat the entire network. The zone seems to be clear now. Just having a casual, casual conversation, 15 feet apart. So we need to protect them, obviously. Um, is that a time-sensitive thing, though? Uh, report them to Leo. Nah. It doesn't explicitly say. I, I would guess that it's probably not time sensitive. All right, let's give the secret passcode to the person at the air terminal thing and see if we can get inside that hangar. Can I help you? I believe we have a friend in common. Ah, yes. He told me you were coming. The door code is two three four eight nine. I guess I'll try- Oh! Jesus. I forgot about the huge robot. Jesus Christ. Um, hmm. 
Let's maybe get up. God, I'm so loud. I'm thinking I should try to go up this stairs. Kneel before I've been hit with toxin. Well, I will fight to the Why am I so slow? I, I don't understand why I'm like randomly slow going up ladders and stuff. Turn back. Unauthorized personnel presumed to be hostile. Poison! It'll take more than that to stop a Templar. Next time. I really don't see how you I can... will be destroyed. Oh Christ! I don't see how I can do this without being spotted. You're no match. She's trying to be sneaky now. I've been hit with toxin. By people. Okay, well, this worked out okay, I suppose. I mean, the alarm's on. Initiating breakdown. Absorbing. Like, I mean, you saw me walking around. I literally stepped one foot inside of this area, inside this restricted zone, and they instantly were like, what was that sound? There's, I mean, oh shit. Let's make this a quick one. Uh, what mods do I have on this EMP converter? So I could also put on a damage increase, right? I don't have a damage increase though. Increase the refire rate would be good. Um, explode into fragments upon impact, inflicting radius damage. I guess. I mean, sure. Can't hurt, right? Does it look different? I don't know if it always looked like that. Alright, that works. Drone construct hosts initiating break breakdown complete. Pilot beacon. Check the whole place. Ugh, neurotoxin! Ugh, poison! Hello? Poison! Oh god! Oh! Oh! Let's try that again. Also, I just realized there's this here. Lieutenant, here is the soft key to the storage room at the back of the hangar. I need you to remove the Plague 11 files, the ones related to the cure, and bring them to me at the VIP overlook in Flight Bay 23. Meanwhile, here is the key to the suite on 108. It's time. Shut Apostle Core down, but do it quietly. You're the same person I just saw a while ago talking about how... The chairman himself is a Templar. Maybe yeah. you should locate the files he was talking about and confront him in the hangar bay. But first, check out that Apostle Corps facility on level 109. Your assignment will be to eliminate Dr. Nassif before she gives any information to the Templar extremists or to the WTO. Yeah, that's that prick we saw before saying, like, people have been saying that I'm not trustworthy. I am hurt by this and everybody blah blah blah. Complete bullshit, of course. Very convenient, though. That's a very, uh, a wonderfully incriminating message. So, I don't want to get hit by a rocket again. Drone construct initiating breakdown. Doesn't seem to have spotted me, so I think I'm good. There's the secure area. Should I just run for it? Oh! I can throw an explosive thing at it. Whoa. 
Uh, how many MPs do I have? Two. Target retreating. Target occluded. Ooh, it's actually it's actually almost dead. I just saw its health. Um. I don't know if a spider bomb would do much. I have a bunch of concussive grenades though, like I might as well throw one. Oh! Ow. Analyzing it. Drone construct host initiating breakdown. Absorbing breakdown. Initiating breakdown. I love my little vampire drone. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, I got it. Nice. Power Armor Tactical Assessment. Survivability tests have uncovered a vulnerable point indicated in the schematic. Until this is rectified, troopers should be instructed in defensive techniques to minimize his liability. Oh, is that the... Well, no, that's not. We need a schematic for the Omar, right? Oh. Okay, I guess not. Whoa. What's that from? There was a radi- yeah, there's a radiation warning. Huh. Oh Christ, uh, that's not helping. Is there like something I can do here? Counter nanite spec slash code. Carbono log code attached, just compiled. This little beast will scrub the sky's blue. Autoimmune subsystem was fine. Needed to... <laughs> needed to... Weak sensor array. I think it's supposed to say tweak. You need the nanoformer base code. There it is. Just transfer spec to bots, done. So now I can go into the nanoformer place. Good. You found the molecular spec for the counter nanite. Now put an end to the chairman's scheme by reprogramming the nanoformer bots to synthesize the cure. The bot kennels are near the exterior on level 107. Drone construct hosts initiating breakdown. Absorbing breakdown complete. I need more health. Hmm. How are you? Hi. Well, I'm not just gonna start taking these people out or anything. Um, you wanted information, Did didn't you? Turn you? up anything? The Templars can't possibly be paying enough taxes on their little project. They're transporting powered assault armor and in large numbers. Very interesting. I'll be sure that this info gets passed along to my superiors and that the Templars are punished for this violation. It's a serious offense, and here's a reward for your fact finding. Thanks for the pittance that you've just given me. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to head to Nanoformer Programming. <laughs>